Aloha class! Before we go on to the very last videos of the entire year, 9-5 Lagrange error bound, we need to know what an alternary series remainder is or what that error bound is. Now we talked about a little bit of this in our last video, where we're gonna dive into it. Full force. Dive. Okay? Um, so here we go. What is the alternate series remainder? Well, there's a couple things we need to know before we get introduced to all this stuff. S, that is the sum. Remember, we cannot find the sum of any of these guys unless it's a geometric series. So what we do instead is we take what we call a partial sum, and we use that partial sum, and we're able to find what we call a remainder to give us where the sum would be. Like we're able to find a bounded. You know, it's going to be in between these two numbers. Okay? And so we need to know what S sub N stands for. S sub N stands for the sum of the first N terms. And I know I've got this big pen, so I might run, a, run out of space here. See if you can fit that in up there. And then R sub N stands for the remainder of those other terms, or we call it the error. Okay? Um, and it's the error from adding N terms together. Okay? And that is what we call, that's S sub N is summing up the first N terms. R sub N is the remainder. What relation do we want to know? We want to know that R sub N, or the absolute value, so our remainder, would be equal to, and it's all right here. <laughs> S stands for the actual sum minus the sum of the first N terms, and that remainder is always going to be less than or equal to the next term, right? And we talked about that in our next video, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Now, S, remember, is the sum of the series. And the only way we can find the exact sum of a series, remember, is if it's geometric. So if it's not geometric, we use the first n terms. And the pen ran out already. How about it, sweetie sweets? So we find the sum of the first n terms. And then what we do is we subtract the remainder and we add the remainder. And it gives us what we call a lower bound and a upper bound. Okay? Now before we get started, I'm going to get a new page so we can roll. But this is not looking good, yo! All right, so what I'm going to attempt to do is I got a blank screen because I think a blank screen, maybe we're going to take our shot that it works a little bit better, okay? All right, so we got a blank screen. Let's go ahead and get my pen, and we're going to approximate the sum of n equals 1 to infinity alternating series, right? How do I know that's an alternating series? Well, the limit approaches zero. It's a decreasing sequence. So guess what? That means this guy right here converges. Now, I'm only going to want to find uh, um, a partial sum you know, remainder or the error for a, a series that converges, right? Because if it doesn't converge, then it diverges, right? And the series goes to infinity, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is it says, what's it say here? It says using the first six terms, okay? So let's go ahead and get our, out our calculators, okay? And let's have our calculators do our work for us here. So I'm going to go alpha window, remember. So get used to doing this stuff in your calculators. It can be very helpful. I'm going to choose two. And I'm going to go from x or n. You know, I'm in function mode, so I'm in x. x equals 1 to, uh, we're going to 6 because we're going to add up the first six terms. Okay, we're going to go alpha y equals because I want a fraction. Right, make sure you're good with these uh, buttons in your calculator. And then we have negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power or x minus 1 power all over n or x. And believe it or not, if I hit alpha window, uh, some, uh, the x, the factorial is number nine. Okay. And then I get out of there and let's go ahead and sum that up. Well, I get 91 over 144. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the decimal for that guy so we can math decimal that bad boy. Boom. So I get 0. 0.6319. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our, uh, our other screen here. Uh, let's go boom. It should take me back to there. Sweet. Okay. And it says to sum up. Ooh, what? what, the, what the, uh, okay. So we're going to sum up the first six terms. So that would be S6. Okay. And if I sum up the first six terms, I get 91 over here. I've got my decimal here. Over 144, which is equal to 0 0.631. I think it was 94. What was the rest of that bad boy? Um... One nine four, and you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and stow that bad boy. Let's stow it uh, in alpha a because we're going to use that um, in a little bit. Okay, 
Let's go back to this guy, um, non, fo, fo, fo. And I'm going to store that in alpha A. All right, now what the heck is this problem asking me to do? Okay, well, it's summing up. Does that mean going to infinity, it's going to be 0 0.6319? No, we're just trying to find what the range is of the sum. So what is the sum? The sum is contained in. So if I were to add up all of those guys, what is it contained in? Well, it's contained in S of 6, right? Whatever we got for that. And then what I'm going to do, what did it say to do? It's going to subtract my remainder. And then it's going to add my remainder. And if I do that, believe it or not, it's going to give me, it's going to give me exactly where this series would add up to. All right, now how the heck do I find out what R of 6 is? Okay, in order to find out what R of 6 is, we're going to take, one, the absolute value of it, because it could be negative because we have alternating terms. Okay, but R of 6, we're going to, like, be safe. We're going to find, like, the maximum error that could be going on. Well, that's going to be less than or equal to the a to the n plus first term. So all I need to know right now, because we're adding up the first six, is what the heck is the seventh term? That's it. And that's all I have to use. We call that our error, right? The first unused term, that's our error. So if I'm adding up the first six, our first unused term, right, would be the seventh. So what the heck is the seventh term? right? 6 plus 1, that'd be a sub 7. And we're going to take the absolute value of it, right? So what the heck would the seventh term be? Well, since I'm not sweetie sweets, it's got to run out. Okay, I guess the blank sheet didn't work. Um, it's going to be the absolute value. So that means I can get rid of that alternator, and it's just going to be 1 over 7 factorial. That's it. So I can just go back to my calculator here, okay? And let's find out what that would be. What would, what would be 1 divided by 7 factorial. Let's see what this is. Alpha use number nine. Booyah. Okay. That would be point, that'd be three zero. So it'd be point zero 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 one nine eight. I'm going to go ahead and stow that guy in alpha B. All right. So you guys go ahead and do that too. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my screen here. Okay. So remember it's like point zero 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 something. I stored it in B, right? So my answer here is simply going to be A minus B for my lower bound, A plus B for my upper bound. That is my maximum error. So that means S, the actual sum of all of this stuff, would be equal to, and I already did this in my calculator, okay? If you do alpha A minus B in your calculator, I got 0.6317. If you do A plus B in your calculator, you get 0.6317. Two, one. Okay, and that's it. That's all this problem's asking about, all right? Use your results to find an interval in which S may lie. S lies right there in that bad boy. And you know what's super cool is I can come back to my calculator. Um, I can go back to, ooh, where did, I, where did it go? Uh, do I have to go back quite a bit? I may need to. Let's just go up here. But, ooh, stop. There. Um, I'm going to hit enter to bring it back, Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to say like, hey, let's just see, let's go out, let's do 1 to 20. It's got a factorial, so that means it's going to go super fast. Okay, so I'm just going to go to 20. Let's see if it's actually in that range. 0. 0.6, what? Right, 0. 0.632. And so if I come back to this guy here, 0. 0.632. Oh, sweet, it's totally in there. And so if I was actually to do this an infinite amount, that is exactly where your sum would be. I don't know about or your series would add up to. I don't know about you, but I think that is pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we got one more problem I need to do with you guys, so here we go. Okay, example 19. Last one, last one of this video. How about it? Ask a question a little bit differently here, right? It asks us this time to approximate this sum with an error less than 0 0.001. Oh, so that means the error is 0 0.001. So what the heck does that mean? Well, what that means is that I'm going to sum up. Like, let's say my error, remember, your error is your first unused term. So let's find out which one of my terms gives me an error that's less than 0 0.001. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do to get this thing started is I'm just going to start listing out terms. Okay, let's start listing these bad boys out. So if I start listing out these terms, I'm going to plug a 1 in there. If I play, and I already did this, okay, you guys? If 
I plug out one in there, I get one. Is one less than 0 0.001? No, it's not. Okay, and then I'm going to put in a, a 2, and I'm going to get negative 1 over 16. Is that less than 0 0.001? No, it's not. Okay, then I'm going to put in a 3, and I get 1 over 81. Is that less than 0 0.001? No, it's not. If you don't believe me, plug these bad boys in. Okay, I'm going to get negative 1 over what was it? Doop, doop. 256. 256. Is that right there? Ooh, that looks like it's going to be less than one, doesn't it? Um, let's check this out. Uh, and I already know the answer. Negative one, but this is what you got to check. What was it? 256. 256. Is that less than it? No way. That's point zero. Oh, it's close. It's super close. The next term is one over 625. Is that less than it? Oh my gosh, that's so close, but that is not less than 0 0.001. So believe it or not, I've got to go to the next guy. And it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, uh, which is this guy. Don't worry, I'll list these out. Booyah, that is definitely less than 0 0.001. All right, so we're going to go back to my screen right here. Let's list these guys out. What did we have here? Next was 1 over 625. And you know what? When I'm going in between screens, that guy is failing on me, isn't it? So we're going to finish this guy right here, okay? So that's 1 over... We got 625, and that was so close to being under that, but it wasn't. My next term is 1 over 1296, and that was 0 .0007 and some change. So let's go, you guys, right now in your calculators, stow, stow it, stow it in A. All right, so I probably already should have stored that since I know. So what does this mean? It says approximate the sum. That means the sum, we're not going to use that. It's the first unused term. That is my ear. So I'm going to sum up one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to sum up the first five of those bad boys, right? So we're going to go to our calculators. I already did this. Make sure you practice it. From n equals one to five of negative one, n plus one, all over n to the fourth. And if you add up all those bad boys in your calculator, I get 0.9475 tree. Nine, four, two, nine. And I'm going to store that in B. And then, hey, I'm going to approximate the sum. So the sum is going to be contained in, this time it's going to be the sum of the first five minus the error or the remainder, okay, or the sum of the first five. And you are going to add the remainder or the error, okay? And if you do that correctly, I get 0 0.9468, comma. Point nine four eight two. So if you notice, it's almost the same exact for the first three decimal spots, right? So that's a good approximation of what this sum will go to. Obviously, you could get better and better with your approximation the further out you go, right? If I want an error of less than 0.001, that's pretty darn accurate, isn't it, class? And that's actually what it is, 0 0.001, right? 0 0.946, 0 0.948. There was your error, right? Point zero zero one. How about it? Now listen up. That's a short video. Some of you guys have been getting lazy on me in class. Don't get lazy. Your job right now is to do 9.1 in the worksheets. Okay, you weren't able to do this all earlier. Number 21 and number 24. You better have those done. If I check, you get a zero for the homework. Aloha.